A few days ago on the channel, I posted a video talking about my bold predictions heading into next NHL season, and now in today's video, I'm going to be collaborating with an NHL Instagram account called NHL Collection. Make sure you guys go give them a follow, and we're going to be looking at some of your guys' bold predictions for next season, and I'm going to talk about all of them and kind of give you my thoughts and let you guys know if I think they could actually happen. I also posted this on my community tab telling you guys to go comment on this Instagram post, so hopefully it's not, you know, just all his followers and there's a good mix of some of my subscribers in there as well. And you you never know maybe your comment could be featured in this video but he picked six and then I also picked six and now I'm just gonna go over all 12 of them and give you guys my thoughts so let's jump right into the video starting the video off with one of the comments that I chose this one comes from Connor underscore Gene hopefully I'm pronouncing that right and they say the pens not making the playoffs as their bold prediction and this is one that I actually had in my bold predictions video a couple of days ago because I think there is a lot of potential that this could happen if I had to pick any team out of the Metro that I think would fall out of the playoffs I think I would go with the Pittsburgh Penguins obviously Columbus too but I just think the Metro is so wide open and there is a strong possibility Pittsburgh could fall out and I just you know I'm not a fan of some of the moves they made the Phil Kessel trade yeah they wanted to shake things up and Phil Kessel's name has been in trade rumors just forever now but is that trade really going to make them better I think Phil Kessel is you know a much better player right now than Alex Galchenyuk but you never know a season playing with guys like Malkin and Crosby could spark him to have a career year so I think it'll be interesting I like this comment just because it's one I agree with and I definitely think that there is potential that this could happen. This next comment was one that was chosen by NHL Collection. All the ones with the blue background are the ones chosen by him. That's how I decided to divide them up so you guys could tell. Once again, his Instagram is going to be down in the description. Make sure to go give him a follow. And this comment comes from James Cristiano, who says Mika Zibanejad gets to 90 points this year. And honestly, I think if he stays healthy and plays on a line with Panarin for the full season, and you know, maybe they have another winger like Capo Caco, there is a strong possibility that Mika Zibanejad does put up a lot of points I mean he just put up 70 plus points as you know the number one offensive option on a New York team that wasn't very good so if he can stay healthy get some time with guys like Panarin and Kako and obviously power play time because I think they're going to have a pretty strong power play there is a good chance he could put up 90 plus but if I had to guess I think he'll probably be more like an 80 to maybe around 82 like a point per game player so I definitely think 90 points is bold but there is a strong possibility it could happen if him and Panarin stay together and both stay healthy the full season. This next prediction comes from Views from Leo who says the Blackhawks make another playoff run and they make the conference finals at least. Now this is a very bold prediction. You could even consider it bold if he had just said they make the playoffs, but he thinks a conference finals run at least. Now the Blackhawks did make some smart moves this offseason in my opinion, most importantly bringing in Robin Leonard because now you have a tandem of hopefully a healthy Corey Crawford and then Robin Leonard coming off the best season of his career. You definitely have a pretty solid situation in net and then now you have young guys Guys like Dylan Strom and Alex Dabrinkit and then obviously you still have the core of Patrick Kane, Jonathan Taze, Duncan Keith and Brent Seabrook hopefully he can have a bounce back year but they are going to be a competitive team and I think there is a strong chance they get back into the playoffs conference finals that is very bold but the parody in today's NHL anything is possible this next bold prediction comes from the name you guys can see on the screen. I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I know I'm just going to butcher it, but they say the Avs win the cup. Now, I can honestly see why a lot of people would say this because they've quietly had a very strong offseason. They brought in a guy like Andre Burakovsky. They obviously made the big trade acquiring Nazem Kadri. They did lose Tyson Burry, but with a guy like Bowen Byram and now Kale McCarr probably going to play full-time NHL roles next season, I don't think Tyson Berry is going to be missed too, too much. Maybe as a quarterback on the power play, but I think Kale McCarr can slot into that role and do just fine. They obviously still have McKinnon, Rantanen, and Landis Cog as a line, and you're just going to be deadly, but now they have more depth behind them, and that is why I think they are going to be a very, very scary team next season. Winning the cup, you know, that is pretty bold, but I definitely think they will be one of the better teams in the league. This next bold prediction comes from Adam Oramoli61, and they say Mark Stone wins the Hart Trophy. Now, this is one I honestly think could happen, you know, if all the stars align and everything goes right for him and the Vegas Golden Knights he's most likely going to have a career year playing with most likely Paul Stashney and Max Pacioretty and those are some pretty talented line mates and Mark Stone has never been a guy to put up a ridiculous amount of points but I think if he can put up maybe 85 to 90 points and still be one of the better two-way forwards in the entire NHL and obviously Vegas still has to be pretty good in a playoff team then I think Mark Stone definitely could have his name in contention for the Hart Trophy I made a
made a video a little bit ago talking about Heart Trophy Dark Horses, and I had Mark Stone in that video just because I think he is that good, so I'm a big fan of this bold prediction. The next one comes from Cameron Irwin, who says the New Jersey Devils win the Metro Division. Now, they did make a lot of significant moves this offseason to improve their team. They acquired P.K. Subban. Obviously, they drafted Jack Hughes number one overall. He's probably going to come in and be a very solid player right away. They also signed Wayne Simmons from Unrestricted Free Agency, so I am a fan of their moves, but I think saying that they're going to win the division and, you know, go from being one of the worst teams in the league to doing that, I think is pretty bull. But like I said multiple times on the channel and earlier in this video, the Metro division is wide open and you could honestly make a case for any of those teams to finish in the top three. So there is obviously a chance that the New Jersey Devils win the Metro, but I'm not ready to say that just yet. So this is a pretty bold prediction in my opinion. The next comment comes from NHL Caps 2 who says Neil is a 20 plus goal scorer for the Oilers. Now you could honestly make the argument that this isn't even that bold of a prediction just because in the 2017-18 season with Vegas, James Neal was a 20 goal scorer and I don't really think one down year with Calgary should sour everybody's opinion on him. I know it was a very bad season but especially now that he's in a new situation, probably going to be centered by a guy like Drysettle or Connor McDavid and you know get power play minutes with them and obviously we know how good of setup and they are James Neal in my opinion is more than capable of being a 20 plus goal scorer so in my opinion this comment maybe should have been like a 30 plus goal scorer but I'm still a fan of it because I think there is a strong possibility this could happen and I'm just a big fan of this move by Edmonton next up we have a comment from Jay Snow underscore nine who says Besser will score 40 goals next season now this is one that I'm actually just going to straight up agree with but I will say he has to stay healthy to do that obviously he struggled with injury a little bit in his first two seasons in the NHL Hopefully that isn't something that lingers and you know happens every year because Brock Besser, in my opinion, can be one of the better goal scorers in the entire NHL if he does stay healthy on a consistent basis, especially if he has an amazing playmaker like Elias Pettersson setting him up every night on the power play. I think this guy is the limit for Brock Besser and also I will say my prediction for Besser is probably up there around 40 goals next season. So I'm a fan of this comment. I think it is a very smart prediction and there is a very strong possibility it could actually happen. The next bold prediction is one I'm actually a big fan of because I am a Red Wings fan and it comes from Apfel Cider. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And they say, I would say Moritz winning the Calder, but that isn't even very bold. I'm going to consider it pretty bold because I wanted it to be in this video. And I think it is bold because when you ask people who they think is going to win the Calder Trophy next season, most of the answers will be guys like Vitaly Kratsov, Capo Caco, Kale McCarr, Jack Hughes, Quinn Hughes, all those players who are more of the top-notch prospects. But I think there is a strong possibility that Moritz Cider does crack the Red Wings roster as soon as next season. He definitely has the size to do so and he really impressed me in the world championships playing against NHL talent and you never know if he can come in and put up a decent number of points he could be a dark horse for the Calder Trophy so that's why I decided to put this comment in the video. The next bold prediction comes from Mr. Hmm who says Oilers finish in a top three spot in the Pacific Division. Now this is one that I actually did have in my bold predictions video. I had the Edmonton Oilers figuring it out and making the playoffs but in my opinion so many things have to go right for this to actually happen. Smith and Koskinen have to be a really good tandem and they have to make each other better and you know kind of split the games throughout the regular season because I don't think you want one of those guys playing the majority of your games. Mike Smith would probably be the safer option but even at his age you don't want to wear him out especially if they are trying to go on a playoff run. I think James Neal has to come in and you know be a 20 plus goal scorer and be a top six winger. I think Alex Chason has to have a similar year to what he had this past season and I think some of the young guys like Kyler Yamamoto, Tyler Benson, Ethan Bear on the blue line, Evan Bouchard, I think guys like that have to come in and really provide a spark. So this is very bold, but you never know in the NHL anything can happen. This next comment is the last one that I chose for the video. It comes from Blue Shirts Red Sox and they say Kratsov and Kako both are finalists for the Calder Trophy. Now this is pretty bold just because it is very rare that teammates are both finalists for the Calder. I believe like the last time it happened was Andre Palat and Tyler Johnson. I'm not sure if that's right. Uh, and then Ta Jonathan Taze and Patrick Kane I believe were as well. But you never know. Kratsov and Kako are definitely capable of doing so. And I think they're both capable of putting up a lot of points in their first season. Kako especially is definitely going to be playing in a pretty significant role coming right out of the gate. Kratsov is probably going to try to crack the top six as well. They're most likely 
likely both going to get power play time because of how skilled they are. So there is a strong possibility they both could have, you know, put up a good number of points and be a pretty big impact on if New York wins or not. And I think for that reason, they both should be favorites heading into the season for the Calder. So this is bold, but there is a strong possibility it could actually play out if both guys live up to the hype. And now finishing off the video with a comment from Evan B 45 who says Nolan Patrick has a breakout season 70 plus points. Now Nolan Patrick has been decent in his first two seasons in the NHL, but as a number two pick, you definitely want a little bit more offensive production out of him than what he has provided for Philadelphia in his first two seasons. I think maybe a 50 plus point season is more in the cards for him next season. 70 plus points though, that would definitely be amazing for him and for Philadelphia. That is a very bold prediction. I'm not quite sure how confident I would be in it actually happening, but I certainly do hope he does have a breakout season because I feel like some people will just start labeling him a bust if he has another like 40 point year. Even though he's a good two-way centerman, he definitely does need to start putting up a lot more points. So that is going to wrap up today's video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said at the start, NHL Collections Instagram will be down in the comment section below. I definitely suggest you guys go and give him a follow. I started using Instagram a lot more as well, so you can follow me. Mine is just Onyquist. Thanks so much to NHL Collection for collaborating with me on this video. It was a lot of fun to do. And with that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel for daily NHL content. And I will see you guys all in the next video.